divorce helps a couple work out all their problems and even become friends. Such is the case with Pam and Thaddeus. They were married for over eight years and have been divorced for nearly three years. Thaddeus wants to find a new man for Pam, but he has to be worthy of her. And we think we've got just the right man. Please welcome them both. How is your married life together? You want to take this one? <laughs> you go ahead, go ahead. Okay. In the beginning, it was great. As time grew on, it got a little worse, and at the end, it was bad. What were some of the problems? <laughs> oh, you want me to tell this one, huh? Yeah, you can Okay, the one. problems were he was a womanizer, okay? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Accusation, okay. right, all right, accusation. right, right. I never got caught. It was all accusation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> never got caught. Never you either got, did I, it or you didn't. He did. I told him if he, even if he put his hand in a cookie jar and it was seen, he would say it was superimposed in there and it was not his hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so okay. So you decided to divorce. Was right. it a messy divorce? No. Not really. No, no, it was it was real civil. Mm -mm. Uh, that's why we can sit this close to each other. Right. I, but, but I initiated the divorce, you know. I told him, you know, either make a decision or, you know, what are you going to do? And he sort of, like, set like a toad on she a She gave me six months, all right? But I didn't know about the six-month limit. I'm sitting at the crib one day with a friend over, and this guy come and serve me these papers. Just blew my whole day. But that was six months later. <laughs> no. But now you're friends. Yeah. Best of friends. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, you want to say? Aren't you afraid he's going to hook you up with another womanizer? I mean, if he womanized you, he, don't you no, think he's going to find someone the last else? person he needs to hook me up with. But, you, but he could be vindict vindictive. You don't know. Yeah, what are the motives behind wanting to set up your ex-wife? Well, she had one good man in her life, me. She deserves another one. Stand up. If you were so good, why did you divorce? Because I didn't know about the six-month time limit. It was a gig rule. <laughs> so no, she... I, I initiated the divorce. She yes, pulled she the rug out from right. under you, huh, right. Thaddeus? Yeah, she snatched it right now, out. Now, what kind of man do you want for Pam? I want the... Pam's a good woman. She deserves another good man, all right? He's got to be somebody that's into the family life, uh, preferably a professional person. Somebody's going to be good to her and my two daughters. Mm -hmm. If you such as a good man, how come you was, she caught you cheating? You she never, listen, I never got caught. <laughs> she never caught you cheating? I never got caught. All of the circumstances, I mean, I often said if he ever got caught at doing what he was doing, it would be like an open book. And it was. He just didn't care to acknowledge that. But there were a lot of things that I saw, you know, uh, after we at were the separated. end of the relationship. No, not even after separation, darling. This was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> During the marriage, and you know how you take things, you put it in, on the back shelf and you just sort of keep it, and if time comes and you need to retrieve it, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And so I asked for questions, I mean, I asked for answers. He couldn't answer them. So it's like saying, yeah, I'm guilty, I'm guilty, without Pam, admitting. Do you think that Thaddeus still holds a torch for you? Heck yeah. <laughs> the case, why do you want him to fix you up with someone? I don't hold that torch for him. <laughs> I'm loving this. Thaddeus' sister helped us find a man for you. So, yeah. would you like to meet him now? Come on out, Skip. <laughs> Skip hasn't even said one word, and he's awfully popular. <laughs> Skip, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a personal trainer, uh, strength and conditioning coach from Detroit, Michigan. Consult with the school system, and uh, spent a lot of time in my job. And um, I met that. I think he's a good guy. I think he can fix me up. Uh, and uh, I don't have time to find a date, so. 
Well, was Pam great. seems like a great woman. Yeah. Yeah. She is. So I've been here. She I, I thought that was Nick, because I don't have time either. I'm real busy, too. You know, with the kids and work and all. So that's pretty good. Okay. Are you still breathing, Pam? Yeah.